Hello learners, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we are going to study about structure and functions of different parts of human brain. Human brain is incredibly complex and powerful organ that serves as a control center for the entire body. It is the center which is going to control every single moment, every single emotion, every single thought of a person. Brain is located in the cranial cavity of the skull which provide the primary physical protection of the brain. So within the skull, this empty part here, this part contains the brain which is known as cranial cavity. The brain is surrounded by three layers which are the protective membranes and known as meninges. These layers they provide additional cushioning and protection. So first protection layer is skull which is here. The second protection layer comes from the meninges which are the membranes and they are covering the brain. It's like you have a parcel and you are covering that parcel with a wrapping paper. So in this case the parcel is your brain and the wrapping paper is your meninges so the purpose the paper is going to serve is the same served by the meninges that is providing cushioning and protection along with this there is cerebrospinal fluid which is a clear fluid which circulates within the ventricles of the brains and they act as a shock absorber Along with these layers and the skull, there is a fluid which is present in the ventricles or you can say the curves or the different parts of the brain. And the purpose of this fluid is to act as a shock absorber. So in any case, if the brain is in kind of um, injury, this fluid is going to protect the brain and protect it from shattering or going apart. Along with this, it also maintains a stable chemical environment for the brain by removing the waste products because it's a liquid. So waste products, they get absorbed in the liquid. The liquid, it moves from the brain to the lower body part where it is filtered or the waste material is removed out of this fluid enter into the blood and then blood passes through the kidney or liver and that waste material is degraded or removed from the body. So these are the three important parts which are actually going to protect the brain, help it to do its function normally. Brain is responsible for regulating most of our bodily functions, processing sensory information, enabling cognitive abilities such as thought, memory, emotions and reasoning. The brain is divided into three parts which is forebrain. Here the word for mean first so it means the brain or the part of the brain which is present in front then comes the midbrain as the name indicates it's going to be in the middle and comes the third part which is known as hint brain hint word means behind so this part of the brain is present at the back of the skull the forebrain is further divided into three parts which is cerebrum limbic system and thalamus the midbrain is divided into reticular formation the hindbrain is divided into medulla pons and cerebellum let's talk about these parts one by one first of all the thalamus which is a part of forebrain or front brain the thalamus it is related to the sensory informations sensory informations that includes the auditory means hearing visual eyes from the skin and within the body all these informations all these sensory informations they are received by thalamus and then they are transferred to the limbic system and cerebrum so the thalamus is going to receive all the sensory information here we have this thalamus which is this part of the for brain this is a cross section of brain it means that you have divided the brain into two parts and then you are studying the internal part so this part here it is the thalamus one it's going to receive all the sensory information from what you are hearing what you are seeing anything if you got a bug bite then your skin is going to be irritated that irritation is also 
received by this thalamus similarly if you are having a pain in your stomach that pain is also uh, producing a sensory information that sensory information which is coming within your body it's received by the thalamus and from the thalamus the information is passed to the limbic system and cerebrum when we talk about the limbic system limbic word means edges or edge it sits along the edges of both sides of thalamus so here we have thalamus and this part here is limbic system so the limbic system is at both sides of the thalamus that is why it is known as edge or limbic system this system is crucial for producing our most basic and primitive emotions and drives and behaviors such as fear rage calmness hunger thirst pleasure and sexual responses these all are the emotions which are very basic and present in human so all these emotions they are produced by the limbic system it also plays an important role in the formation of memories the limbic system it has three parts hypothalamus amygdala and hippocampus here we can see this part here is the hippocampus here we go then we have amygdala this part here is amygdala then we have the hypothalamus here which is this part so all these three parts they made limbic system all three parts they are related to different informations or different emotions or different work they are performing starting with the hypothalamus it's important coordinating center it also regulates the body temperature hunger and menstrual cycle water balance and sleep wake cycle through hormone production and neural connection so hypothalamus is a part which is associated with the production of hormones it's actually coordinating center it means that it is sending the information to different body parts to produce different hormones so it can control different functions which includes body temperature hunger like sending the information to the stomach through the hormones that you are feeling hungry then controlling the menstrual cycle by the help of increasing and decreasing the hormones similarly maintaining the water balance and sleep wake cycle so all these information is controlled by hypothalamus then comes the amygdala the amygdala is involved in generating sensations of pleasure punishment and sexual arousal and in the feeling of fear and rage it means that amygdala is responsible for the basic emotions then comes the hippocampus it's essential for the formation of long term memories and learning so anything that you are learning after some years you still know how to do that why because the information is stored in hippocampus similarly if you have learned something that learning has made a memory in your brain and that brain part is hippocampus where that long term memory is stored so after years and years when you are sitting somewhere and you say okay at that time i did this something it means that your hippocampus is the storage point here then comes the cerebrum the cerebrum is the largest part of the brain and it is divided into two hemispheres connected by the corpus callosum so here we have this part here this one this is cerebrum the cerebrum is made up of two hemisphere one hemisphere and other hemisphere and these two hemispheres they are connected with each other by the help of corpus callosum the cerebrum processes sensory information it stores some of the memory like the short term memories which are produced they are stored in the cerebrum it directs voluntary movements like if you wanted to grab something if you wanted to read a book these are your voluntary actions so these voluntary actions they are controlled by cerebrum and it is also responsible for higher cognitive functions like thinking so the thinking part short term memories and the voluntary actions they all are controlled by cerebrum 
The cerebrum has the hemispheric control. It means that the left hemisphere is going to control the right side of the body while the right hemisphere is going to control the left side of the body. It means that this part of the brain will control this side of the body. This part of the brain is going to control the other side of the body. The cerebrum has different parts. It has cerebral cortex. The outer layer of the cerebrum, this one here, it is known as cerebral cortex and it is um, distinguished from the other parts because it, because it has many curves and these curves they are known as convolutions. The purpose of these convolutions is to increase the surface area. When the surface area is increased it means the uh, process or working process area is increased. That's why the cerebrum is able to do all these memory things all these thinking things so it is said that the person who has a very good memory it means that the person has more convoluted or more curves in the cerebrum or the cerebrum part of his brain is more in comparison to the person who has less memory or thinking ability the functions of cerebrum includes it contains primary sensory area for receiving signals from the sensory organs sensory organs mean ears and eyes or the skins so it's going to receive all the information from the sensory organs and then it is going to convert them into the perception like light or sound so for example you are hearing something that information it will go to the cerebrum and then cerebrum it's going to uh, decode it and then after decoding it's going to tell you that what kind of sound you are listening so after converting that information into the perception that information is passed on to other parts of the brain which are related to this sensory information and then they are going to interpret further it is also involved in the speech touch sensation voluntary muscle control intelligent reasoning and judgment so all the thinking part all the information part all the intelligence part it is actually related to the cerebrum then comes the midbrain the midbrain has a distinguished area which is known as reticular formation so when we talk about the midbrain this part here is the midbrain here the midbrain is connecting the forebrain in which we had the thalamus to the hindbrain here so this part here uh, sorry this this is the hindbrain so this is this part here is the midbrain the midbrain though reduced in the humans it contains important centers such as auditory relay center and center controlling reflex movements of the eye so it is related to the eye movement and information which are captured by the eye it has the reticular formation which act as a relay center connecting the hinge brain with the forebrain like i said that is going to connect the forebrain with the hinge brain and it plays a critical role in screening incoming information before it reaches higher brain centers. So this is the function of midbrain. Then comes the hindbrain. Hindbrain is divided into three parts, medulla, bones and cerebellum. Starting with the medulla, medulla it controls several automatic functions including breathing, heart rate, blood pressure and swallowing. This part here, it's the medulla, which is also known as medulla obligata. So all the involuntary actions which are happening, but you can't control them, they are controlled by medulla. In the case of cerebrum, we said that it's involved with the voluntary actions that you wanted to perform, like you wanted to grab something, you wanted to do something. But when it comes to the functions which are not controlled by you, or you cannot control them, like breathing, you are sitting here, you don't know, but you are breathing. You can't control your heartbeat you can't control your blood pressure all these functions they are involuntary like they are going on and you have no control over them so all these involuntary actions they are controlled by medulla or medulla obligata then comes the pawns they influences the transition between sleep and wakefulness as well as rate and pattern of breathing you said there there is no defined line when you are awake and when you fell into the sleep so that transition from the sleep to wakefulness it's controlled by the pawns like you are sleeping but all of a sudden you wake up 
that transition is controlled by pawn similarly you are reading a book or you are surfing on your mobile phone and all of a sudden you are sleeping it means that transition is also controlled by pawns similarly the rate of uh, the pattern of breathings like sometimes if you are in fear or if you are in rage or you are angry your breathing level it increases that increase is also controlled by the pawns this part here this is pawns then comes the cerebellum this part here is the cerebellum so these three part they made the hind brain and present at the back of the neck the cerebellum is it coordinates the body movements it ensures smooth and accurate motions and maintain body position for example you are walking that walking is actually your body movement that movement is controlled by cerebellum you are sitting you are maintaining a posture that posture is maintained by cerebellum it also involves in learning and memory storage for certain behaviors for example you have learned some skill that's information of learning of a particular skill it's stored into the cerebellum because it is also related to the body movement for example you started to learn tennis the tennis it involves body movement so all the information related to that playing tennis is stored in the cerebellum it is particularly well developed in birds which require integrate coordination for the flight this happens that somebody slap you very hard at the back of your neck it means the cerebellum part of your brain is going to get that shock and for a second you will not know where you are and where your body belongs to or in which condition your body is in other words you just lose control over your body because the shock absorbed by cerebellum is making cerebellum to lose control over your body that is why you can't understand what actually is happening you don't understand how to control your body because your cerebellum is unable to control the body functions or body movement so that was all about the structure and function of different parts of the brain if you have any question related to this topic or you wanted to learn any other topic, let me know in the comment section and I will see you in the next video.